So the tiger king and captive animals in the United States. I'm sure most of you have probably seen tiger king or heard of it at least in Joe Exotic. So a little background on Joe Exotic. Uh, he started by owning pets and pet stores in 1986. After that, he purchased his own farm in 1999, which became his first sort of zoo. In 2000, they had over 100 like big cats. And then after 2000, Joe started to kind of travel around the US to show off his animals. This then led to kind of issues between Ralph Baskin and the cat rescue. Uh, so in 2004, he was first accused of unethical animal treatment, and, which led to a lawsuit in 2011. Um, Joe ended up owing Big Cat Rescue a million dollars because he tried to trademark their own name. Uh, and so he agreed from that summit that they had to pay a million dollars and no longer breed his big cats or allow visitors to pet them, the babies and the cubs. And then in 2015, he transferred his park over to his friend's name because of lawsuits and such that were going on. He was afraid he would lose his park. In 2018, he was then charged with eight counts of illegal animal trade and nine violations of the Endangered Species Act. And then 2020, they closed down his park. And in 2021, all of his animals were moved to a sanctuary in Colorado. So just some statistics on captive animals. There's over 5,000 captive tigers within the US, but only estimated 4,000 in the wild. So there's more in captivity here than there's just left in the wild. Um, Alabama, Nevada, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Delaware, and Oklahoma have zero laws preventing anybody from owning a big cat. 21 states allow you to have exotic animals as long as they're not cats, and then 35 states have a ban on big cats. So there's still more states that you legally are allowed to own a big cat. And then negative implications. So they have small enclosures, which means they have no space to roam or in the wild with kind of endless area to travel. Uh, climate differences, normally they're not in the right habitat. A lot of the animals are declawed, which is just bad for all animals. Uh, normally their nutrition is not well, and the cubs are prematurely taken from their mother. And also there is black market or killing animals for their fur and teeth and such. So what can you do to help? You can visit sanctuaries instead of zoos, donate to organizations that prevent uh, the capture of exotic animals, protest and contact state or federal officials, do your own research and educate yourself and your friends, and report any animal neglect that you see at zoos. And so this is an organization called Panthera. Uh, they are one of the only organizations specifically focused on big cats. And this includes cheetahs, leopards, jaguars, lions, pumas, snow leopards, and tigers. And another one is uh, mountain lions. That's normally in there as well. So their staff is full of researchers, scientists, wildlife, con conservators, and a lot of people with PhDs in everything that they do. And they also work in 47 different countries to protect the capture of big cats. And so there are my references. Yay.